I've been thinking. There is a lot to know about playing the game of Minecraft and for a new player that can be a little bit intimidating. So here's a list of tips, let's call it a top 10, for people that just picked up this game but want to try and survive longer than one night. Okay, leave a like, leave a sub if you enjoyed this video, let's go! Let's start with game settings. Every Minecrafter personalizes their settings to suit their gameplay, but here are a few things that I think every player should know before they punch their first tree. Uh, or after. So let's talk brightness. If you want to actually see that zombie that's about to steal all of your armor and chase you around like a chicken, you gotta stop being so moody and set your brightness settings to bright. Not, not only does this make the game colors and shadows really pop, but it makes the caves 100% brighter and is well within the rules of the game, so why not? Show subtitles. By, by enabling subtitles, you are giving yourself an enormous advantage. Go into Options, Music and Sounds, and click Show Subtitles. You'll now be able to hear mobs that you probably wouldn't have been able to hear yet, and even know which direction they're coming from. This is going to help you find enormous caves with tons of diamonds. Oh wait, this is 118. That's better. Turn off Auto Jump. Now I might catch some slack over this one from some people, but unless you're playing on Pocket Edition, in which case, skip to step four, you should promptly go into your settings and disable this feature with the force of a thousand suns. This option was obviously designed to help anybody without three thumbs play Pocket Edition, which is a great feature for a touchscreen, but not so great when your thumb is permanently resting on the spacebar or the jump button. In this, in this feature to off is gonna make navigating those giant caves and cliffs a whole lot smoother. As well, it's going to give you more control of your movement in general. Don't be, be afraid to tell Mo Yang that you know better. My controls are pretty simple, but I use Q to sprint, Tab to drop an item, the tilde or back quote key to show them the player list, and Control to change my perspective. Comment below with your Minecraft keybinds. Okay, okay, now that our settings are dialed in, let's talk coordinates. X, X is your east and your west coordinate, Z is your north and your south, and Y is your vertical. Remember that sea level is always at Y level 63, and the edge of your world is way out at 60 million blocks or the X or the Z. So always write down the cords to your house or your treasure, that way you'll never lose them. So without getting too technical, there's basically three things you should be looking for when you start a new game of survival. There's food, hey, stop looking at me like that, shelter, and iron. After getting these three things, you'll be able to take on the next day in your Minecraft world. The hack to finding all three of these things at once is to stumble across a village just like this one here. But don't worry, these things are super easy to find because apparently 118 is the village and jungle update. These things are freaking everywhere now. So now that we've gone ahead and looted this village and also protected our villager friends here, who will come in handy later, It's time to collect some resources that are going to make this game a whole lot more playable. Unfortunately, in early game, most of these resources are underground. M my advice is to dig your first mine right inside of your starter base like this. That way, when you come back from your mining mission at midnight in pitch black, you won't be surrounded by phantoms and creepers. Also, place a trap door there just to protect yourself from mobs that may want to wander up while you're sleeping. Ugh. Inventory management can be a real challenge in this game. Oh, you know what? I didn't put these diamonds here, by the way. So my one piece of advice is to take a bunch of wood down with you, enough to make a crafting table and a chest. That way you can throw all of your extra items in the chest and use the crafting table to combine entities to form blocks like this. If you're not sure if an entity can form a block, just throw in a crafting table to find out. In 1.18, the safest and most reliable place to look for diamonds is gonna be negative 53. That's gonna be because the lava will be generating right beneath your feet. Ow! If you have quick reflexes though and aren't afraid of wrestling with a little lava, negative 58 will be a little bit more lucrative. But it's early game, so don't push your luck. Go at your own pace. Always place your torches on the left side when you're mining or working your way through a cave. Even in larger areas like this where you have to put torches on the ground, continue to put them on the left. That, ooh, diamonds, nice. That way when you're headed back and you see torches on the right hand side, you know that you're headed the right way home. 
Okay, that is gonna do it for the top 10 today, guys. Hopefully these tips helped you survive at least the first couple nights of your new Minecraft world. If you're OG, if you already knew all this stuff, be sure to post your own tips below because I'm sure you have a bunch. We're gonna say goodbye from the Craftwell SMP Shopping District today. Be sure to give us a follow over on Twitch. I'll leave that link below. That way you'll know when we go live. Thanks for the sub, guys. Thanks for the like on this video. And of course, thanks for telling your friends. Stay well, stay safe. I love you tons. Peace!